Um, you know, we're not defending the three and we're not guarding the dribble drive. Um, you know, we've basically had the same defensive concepts for, for eight years and, and, uh, you know, might have to look at changing some things based on our lack of ability to, to, uh, especially at the guard play, uh, to keep the ball in front of us and, and also contest the three that, that seems to be problematic to do both, um, you know, tonight we were supposed to take away the three, and we certainly didn't do that. So, um, you know. Leads me to my next question. 23s for opponents in two games this week. Can you – what what's the, the issue, I guess, defending the perimeter? Can you put your finger on it? Not getting close enough to guys. Not, not, not having enough desperation. I mean um, – you know, if, if you don't think that we've talked about defending the three, I mean, I've talked about it even with you guys. So um, it's been discussed. Um, it's up to us to fix it. Um, so, we, I mean, we got to get back to the drawing board and we don't have much time before we play three real quality opponents um, in Bahamas. Must it seemed like ball movement for you guys against that zone was stale a lot. A lot of the threes maybe weren't off good energy on the ball on the other end. It seemed like they got some rhythm threes and maybe some easy looks. Uh, did you see a discrepancy between the two offenses that way, or is it just defensive failure? Yeah, I mean, we scored 48 points in that second half, Kevin, and, and um, you know, we had over 200 passes. That was one of the first things we checked. I thought – I actually thought we did pretty good against the zone, getting the ball to Devo, and he made some good reads. Obviously, about the two-and-a-half-minute mark, we you know, we struggled making – shots um and four for 23 is you know i don't i don't even think we needed to, to attempt that many um i thought in the first half we you know we tried to i mean they didn't have many shot blockers you know and so not going to the rim was a you know was an issue in the first half i mean we had 22 points in or 24 points in the first half and 48 in the second I mean the problem was the first half offensively you know we were we were not good um defensively probably not good in either half on on the uh turnovers uh this was a, where you had really been keeping them low this game obviously they ripped a lot in the first half how did you feel that played into this uh getting behind so big as you did yeah, 13 turnovers is – I mean, in the second half, we did a pretty good job taking care of the ball, but uh, first half, not very good. I mean, there's just so many things that I can point out. I mean, you know, Kai has, you know, four fouls in eight minutes or six minutes, whatever it was, and, you know, L had a lot of turnovers in the first half, and, and um, you know, I thought their star player got off in the first half and got way too many easy looks and, and – um, you know, the issue when you schedule like this is, is you know, if you don't come to play, uh, good teams like this are, are going to beat you, and they're a good team. And, uh, you know, they played a great second half at Vanderbilt, and they played a, gr a really great first half tonight, and we didn't play a very good game at all. I was just curious what you thought of about UNC Greensboro's physicality and then maybe how you guys responded to that early in the game compared to after halftime? Yeah, I mean, we told them it was going to be physical. I mean, um, you know, I thought we responded much better in the second half, um, but we lost the game, you know what I mean? And so, um, you know, this team's got a, got a lot of areas that we got to improve on. Rotation got a little little tighter tonight. Was that something that was planned pregame or an adjustment just based off falling behind? Yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we tried to change the starting lineup. So that's, I mean, that's one change. Um, yeah, I don't think that had any anything to do with the guy. I thought Chandler came in and actually played great um defensively um but we just we got a lot of holes i mean um that we have to fix 
it just seemed like whenever you guys were, were coming back at them, the crowd was getting into it in the second half, they had an answer. A particular, I remember it was, I think, I think Devo hit a layup to make a 50 48. You guys, I thought, had a real good defensive sequence. And then Atwell hit a three with like a second left. And then I think somebody missed the three and they got a layup. So it went from like four to nine or something. Do you, just what do you think about the way they kept answering your all's, you know, runs at them? Yeah, I thought they played great. They really did. They have a lot of veterans. They have a lot of returning guys. And early in the season, just, you know, I've, I've talked about other people around the country that this has happened to tonight. It happened to us. It's the first time it's happened in eight years that I've been a coach, a non-conference game like this. It happened. And uh, we didn't play very well. Uh, it's really bad timing not to play well, knowing what our schedule looks like, our next home game here. And then the, the three games in the Bahamas, it, it was a game that – uh, was really important for us to come out and play well, and we didn't do that. Jade, you guys schedule them back to back years because they have trouble scheduling because they're they're good. Um, he said he'd love to play here again next year, and I said I don't know about that. I mean, uh, what do you think about scheduling them? I know you like to play tough. tough yeah, games. I mean we're we're trying to schedule to make an NCAA tournament. When you lose a game like this, it puts a dent in you. Quite frankly, I mean this is this is this loss is is a is a loss that. Uh, that's detrimental because it's a home game. And so I'm not, I'm not going to shy away from that. I mean, I'm disappointed um, that we lost the game and, um, you know, hadn't happened in a long time and it, and it happened. Eric, you mentioned at the beginning, the, the fact that it's the same issues that have plagued you so far this year, just how, how frustrating is that? And how confident are you that your guys will be able to, to get them fixed here over the next yeah week. I, mean, I think i think um we've got a i mean our job a job of, of 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 for our staff is if we're not doing things the way that we need to we've got, we have to make adjustments i can't just keep doing the same thing because every team's personality every team's personnel strengths and weaknesses are different so I, i've got to come up with a little bit different scheme than what we've seen thus far and we will whether it works or not, I don't know, but we can ill afford to continue uh, playing, whether it's pick and roll, whether it's chasing guys off screens, whether it's playing guys off ice, we have to adjust um, and we will starting tonight. I'll go back and, and um, you know, have to, this team's been incapable right now other than the Purdue game of taking away the three and taking away the dribble. So I've got to get with the staff and, and get with the players and, and make some type of an adjustment. Transition was a problem in the last game. This game, it was about break even at half, but you guys got back and defended it and, and ran out a little bit in the second half on a positive note. Is there something to build on there at least uh, moving forward? Yeah. I mean, I thought we played, you know, in the second half with more pace, but you know, the game is a game of runs and, you know, I think it's very easy as a coach to, um, you know, to say, hey, we played really good in the second half or, you know, like we lost the game. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to sit here and tell everybody, hey, we played a great second half. It's something to build on. And that, no, we lost the game and it's a 40 minute game for a reason. And we lost. And so we've got to get better across the board. Um, and we've got to get off to better starts. I mean, this is, you know, so there's a lot of, lot of things to uh, uh, discuss. Eric, I don't know about other games tonight, but I think you counting y'all tonight, it's the sixth ranked team to lose to an unranked team in the first two weeks. It just seemed, you know, it's kind of like you've alluded to, it's, it, it, it gets, you know, it's not like you're the only teams that's happening to, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, because uh, transfer I mean, and then you got a team like this that's got a lot of guys back. I mean, we watched the film, and every time you watch the film of last year, the guys, they're, they're back. You know what I mean? And so, um, and they looked like it, you know? And so, but you're not going to, I mean, you go four for 23 and the other team goes nine to 20, you're not going to win the game. I mean, it's just, it's not going to happen. Yeah, Keyshawn Langley and Jones Brown, how good a combo are those guys? They scored 50 the other night, Vandy. I think they had 40 something tonight. Yeah, I mean, they're really good. I thought uh, 
T Mark did a great job in the second half. I mean, the first half, 18. I don't know if I, I cannot remember a player that we've coached against that had 18 and a half. Um, and he really got the better of us for sure in the first half. And we made some adjustments. We changed who was guarding him. Um, we tried to deny him the ball. We got burned on one back door. But other than that, I thought we did a good job denying his catches a little bit more in the second half. Uh, you've already mentioned the uh, you guys took maybe too many threes than you would have liked. But I'm just are you upset with the quality of the shots that you're generating, with those three pointers that you missed? For sure, early in the game, yeah. Um, wasn't disappointed late, really. Uh, in the second half, but first half, yeah, I thought we took some bad shots. Yep, for sure. In the first half, um, I'm just curious what the next few days look like in terms of practice and cleanup. I mean, you don't play till Wednesday. We got international travel thrown in there. Just what are the next few days yeah, look I mean, like? We travel on Monday, early, so uh, hard to practice on Monday. Not sure what we'll do. You know, um, not sure. 